Hey, what's up, guys? It's Game Jane HX123 and welcome to another tutorial on Microsoft Word 2010. Today is how to insert a table into Microsoft Word 2010. If some of you guys are wondering what my desktop background is, that is McLaren MP4. For some of you guys have been asking, and the software capture I use is a fast zone capture, and it's an HD and goes up to 720p, and it's 110% free. So, let's get started. So, what you want to do is open Microsoft Word 2010, click a new blank document, double click. Then you can either have it landscape or portrait. So I'm going to stick with landscape because I personally prefer landscape for pictures and stuff like that. All you want to do is go to page layout on these top bars, click orientation and then click landscape. Then you want to go to insert and table, click and then draw your table. So it's how it is many is across as it is how many is it down. So we'll have, I don't know, a 5 by 5 by 5. Then from there we'll go straight to the table tools with design and layout. So I'm gonna change the colour of mine in the design. I'm gonna change it to I don't know, let's say red because red's quite popular. Then let's make this couple bigger by clicking in, clicking enter, and then tapping three times. Move it using this top uh, top left selection tool. Then we're just gonna name something. So upload, use tab to change across the boxes. I know I spelled upload wrong, I can't be asked to change it. I will. Upload, render, and I don't know, make, star, and end. So I don't know, if you upload, you can have part five, no, three. Render is go you, and I don't know, make is, I don't know, to, to that word. I just don't know, honestly. So you've got some title names, video names, and then once you've got your basic design table view, you can set the spacing, etc, etc. Then you can either select where the font to be in the middle, left or right. You can change that by highlighting each separate word and you can change it on depending which word you have highlighted. You can also change the colour. So we're going to make all these top ones mm, yellow. Oh no, that's bad to see, I won't do that. Let's have it as dark red so it's easier to see. And then the good ones, I don't know, let's have them green. So there you go, there's a bit of design there going on for your IRA. Highlight again, it comes up with some tools at the top you can have. You can have shading at the box background, or you can make the size bigger. So let's have this nice and big. Make, and uh, let's change this font to something like Andalas. I don't know what that says. Andulus. <laughs> you can also click out oh, layout. And also, if you say you need to put something in here, this area, you can click here and you can go, where is it, layout, insert to the left of you and it will insert one to wherever your mouse cursor is clicking. So I'll just insert one again, let's insert one to the left again. I want the one there, I'll just click insert to the right. Control Z for any mistakes. You can also split the table, I don't know what you're splitting kind of just moves it down a bit, not much use. <coughs> what else? And you can also change the height of that certain box by using this and the width. If you want to be more precise using that, you can change the text direction so you can have it on the side, upside down. So let's have it like that. You can also insert a picture. So let's get one already searched for. Let's get YouTube. Oh, it's document, is it? Yep, document three. Let's close that. No, don't say piss off. Alright, so then you can paste either keep source format or merge formatting. So you click merge formatting, and then you, it'll come up when you click on the image. Three boxes come up, comes up with picture tools, and the table to tools are still up. What you want to do is go to picture tools, uh, formats, wall, text, and then click through. And then it's kind of disappeared. Okay. Alright, so if you do make any mistakes, click Ctrl Z. And we're just, we're just going to keep it as that because the disappearing is being annoying. And you can drag that box to box, you know, BJ to BJ, so where you'd like. So let's move that back up. Ctrl Z again. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for inserting the table. You can play about with it, do what you want, you know, have a bit of this, do a bit of that. 
Ah, there's, lo there's lots of other stuff you can do, you just need to get used to it. You can change the thickness of the lines even, you know, you can draw your own lines again. Colour as well, eraser, erase certain bits of the table so you have, there you go, bits out like that. Even the pen colour you can change, borders and everything else, shading. So yeah. Alright guys, that was a tutorial on how to insert a table into Microsoft Word 2010. If you want more tutorials, can you please subscribe and I'll be posting a hell load of tutorials for lots of programs on my computer and I shall see you in another tutorial.